A school in Brazil where the classrooms are increasingly filled with children from Venezuela. First comes a language and learning Portuguese. This school in Boa Vista, Brazil, in the far north of the country, received more than 100 kids from Venezuela this year alone. They were forced to adapt and they appear happy, but most are too young to fully comprehend the difficult reality of why they are here. At the nearby border crossing, about 1,000 Venezuelan migrants a day line up to cross into Brazil. They're desperate, fleeing a country they say lacks food and medicine. Most are like Nair Aguilar, who bring their children. I'm here for a better future for my two kids. I hope they can grow up here. They can study a better future for them. But it will be a difficult road ahead, especially for the youngest. With little money, many of the families end up living like homeless at a local park. They're in need of the basics for survival. At this encampment, everybody is hungry. Someone finally brought some food, so they're lining up, including the children, for many of whom this will be the only meal they eat all day. Across town at a gymnasium turned into a rudimentary shelter, kids who are not in school do whatever they can to keep busy. Monica Carrera, a former model in Venezuela, said she fled her country as a last resort. I hope to start working in a good job and have enough money to raise my children. A United Nations official here estimates half of all the migrants in shelters are children. In this kind of situation, when you start having shelters, many people living on the street and so on, uh, children are at risk of abuse, of any kind of violence, abuse or exploitation. It's a growing migration crisis with an entire generation of Venezuelan children whose future is across the border in a new land. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, Boa Vista, Brazil.